Welcome to Gaia Yoga, my friends. We'll begin today's class at the front of the mat. So step to the front of your mat, bringing your feet together, rooting through four corners of the feet into the mat. Lift the toes, spread the fingers, and press all fingers into the mat. And now pull the mat apart with your legs. Feel your quads, your outer hips engaging, your glutes. Your core is slightly activating, soften through the shoulders and reach your fingers down and lengthen through the crown. And begin focusing on your breath. Your inhales and exhales. Feel your ribs expanding through the back body when you breathe in, through the side, through the front and soften as you breathe out. Allow your belly to expand and move freely. Send your breath all the way down to the lower back and the pelvic floor. When you're ready, open your eyes. Inhale, lift the arms up and find your back bend. Exhale, slowly begin folding down, reach the belly to the thighs, palms to the floor. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, shift the hips back and up, downward dog. Inhale, shift forward and jump to the front. Inhale, extend the legs halfway up. Exhale, folding down. Inhaling, rising up to standing, finding your back bend. Exhale, rise back up, bring the palms to the heart. Inhale, lift the arms up. Find your back bend. Exhaling, folding down. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, bring the palms to the floor, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, shift the hips back and up, downward dog. Inhale, shift the shoulders forward, bend the knees, jump to the front. Inhale, extend the legs, lift your chest halfway up. Exhale, and folding down. Inhaling, rising up to standing, finding your back bend. Exhale, rise back up, bring the palms to the heart. Inhale, bend the knees, lift your arms up, find your chair. Exhaling, standing forward, fold. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, bring the palms to the floor, jump back. Chaturanga, you can modify, bring the knees down and always keep the elbows into the ribs. Shift the hips back and up, step the right foot forward, lower the back heel, lift the arms, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot forward, drop the right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe here. Roll the biceps out, send the sit bones up. Keep your neck long. Inhale, shift the shoulders forward, bend the knees, jump to the front. Inhale, sweep your arms forward and up, chair. Exhale, rise up tall, lower the arms down. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms up, chair. 
Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale. Chaturanga, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, shift the hips back and up. Downward dog, step the right foot forward, lower the back heel down. Warrior one. Exhale. Chaturanga, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot forward, right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, frame the foot. Step the left foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, shift the hips back and up, downward dog. Five breaths. Gaze to the navel if you wish. Inhale, shift your shoulders forwards, bend the knees and jump to the front. Inhale, halfway up. Exhaling, folding down. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms up, find your chair. Exhale, rise up to standing, lower the arms down. Observe the energy, the heat beginning to build up in your body. Inhale, bend the knees. Extend the arms, find your chair. Pause for 10, one, two. Keep your knees and feet together. Four, five, six, seven, feel your glutes. Eight, nine, 10. Bring the palms to the heart, twist. Hook the elbow to the outside of the thigh or the forearm. Breathe, keep your knees in one line. Now bring the weight to the right foot, lift the left heel, step your right left foot all the way back into high line, send the left heel back, root through the feet, find your balance. Tap the left knee to the floor and then lift, one, two, three, four, and five. And now extend the arm, so hook just the forearm and see if you can extend the front leg, be careful, and then bend. You don't have to extend all the way, just a little bit, send the right hip back, root through the ball of the foot, and bend one more time. And now slowly bring the palms together, hook the elbow, and step your left foot back to chair. And now lift the elbow and bring your left foot to the top of the right thigh. Rotate your chest to the front. And maybe you can hook the left foot at the back of the right calf muscle and pulse. Press the palms together. And you release the hook on the lower leg. Twist to the side. Bring the elbow, bring the thigh to the right elbow, and maybe you can find your eagle legs, arm balance. And then exhale, slowly return, and reverse back, and rise up to standing. Bring your left thigh in, grab your big toe with your index and middle finger, and extend the left leg forward. And then out to the side. And then back to the front. Let go of the hold. Pull your thigh bone in. Two, three, four, and five. Lower. Down about half of the heel, an inch off the mat. Pull your thigh bone in. And then slowly start folding down. Fold, 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 fold. And then step your 
left foot back, extend your right leg, bend and extend, bend, extend, bend and extend. Slowly rotate your right toes to the left side and descend your left heel to the right. So you move into wide-legged forward fold and reach your chest forward. Sink the chest between your inner thighs. Engage the glutes, breathe. You can play with softening through the knees and extending. Adjust the position of the legs if needed. And now slowly return. Frame the front foot, step your right foot back into plank or maybe one-legged plank, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, shift the hips back and up, downward dog. Five breaths here. Inhale, send the gaze to the front. Exhale, step walk, jump to the front of the mat. Now slowly extend the legs and lift your left foot off the mat for an inch. Hover like an inch off the mat and then slowly start rising up. Challenging your balance. Maybe you can rise up to the ball of the right foot with your left foot hovering. Just try, play time. Lift, 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 and lower. And lower your left leg down and shake. Bring your feet together. Observe how you feel. Bring your feet together, knees together. Inhale, bend the knees, send the sit bones back. Find your chair, pulse for 10. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring the palms to the heart, twist to the left side, hook the elbow. Keep knees in one line, squat a little lower. And now slowly lift the right foot and step your right foot all the way back and send the heel back. Keep your front knee bent. Engage the glutes, drag the feet in towards one another. Lengthen through the sit bones. Tap the knee to the floor. One. Engage the right quadricep. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. And slowly release the elbow and hook the forearm and direct the knee to the back of the room send the left hip back square through the hips and then bend extend and bend extend and bend then sink hook the elbow step the foot back to chair and now lift your right foot and bring the foot bring the Bring the thigh on top of your left. Start rotating your chest to the front. Be careful with balance. You can hook the back, the low of the foot under the calf and maybe pulse one. Press the palms together, two, three, four, and five. Let go of the hook on the calf. Lean to the side, bend the elbows and place your thigh in on your triceps, start lifting your feet, engage the glutes. And then lower, return, lift your palms and try to rise up. To standing, slowly rising up. Bring the thigh in to the belly and grab your big toe with your index and middle finger. Press it into the ribs and then send the heel forward. Soften through the knee if needed. Lift higher. Open your leg out. And then back to the front. Hold. Spool the thigh bone in. And now slowly lower the leg down, 
hover an inch of the mat, pull the thigh bone into the hip, send the sit bones back, start folding down, balancing here. And now step the right foot back, reach the heel to the floor, but the heel stays lifted. Extend your front leg, fold. You can bend and extend, bend, extend, bend, and extend, bend. Frame the front foot, Except send your left foot back, one-legged plank, engage the glute. Shift the shoulders forward, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, shift the hips back and up, downward dog. Inhale, send the gaze to the front. Exhale, step, walk or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, fold. Slowly. Lift your right foot off the mat, hover, pull your side bone in, engage the core, the quad, the glutes, and then slowly start rising up to standing. And if you want to have fun, find your focal point, connect to your inner thighs, and lift the left heel off the mat. Lift. And exhale, lower and shake. Close your eyes for a moment and observe how you feel. Now lift the arms up, bring the palms to the back of the head, open the elbows out, lift, stretch through the front line. And exhale and slowly begin tucking the chin, draw the elbows in and rolling down slowly. Breathe into the back line. And let go of the hold on the head. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the chest. Exhale, slowly extend the legs. Inhale, bend the knee, lift, and exhale, extend the legs. Soften through the knees and jump back into plank, chaturanga. Hold here, lift the right leg, one, two, three, and lower left leg, one, two, three, lower upward dog, uncurl the toes. Exhale, bend the elbows without moving the toes, one, two, three, Four, five, extend the arms up, one dog. Exhale, shift the hips back and up, down one dog. Lift both heels up and make a wave-like motion to the front. Lengthen through the heels and through the crown. Inhale, send the hips back and up. Exhale, lift your heels and make a wave-like motion to the front. Lift your right leg up and hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring the right knee in, hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Extend. One, two, three, four, five. Shift the shoulders forward, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your heels up, make a wave like motion to the front. Into plank. Lift the left leg up, hold one, two, three, four, five. Left two, armpits one, two, three, four, and five. Extend, hold one, two, three, four. Five, shift the shoulders forward, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, shift the hips back and up, downward dog. Slowly lower the knees down, shift the hips back, find your child's pose, relax the wrists. Breathe here. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders.
Raise up to the tabletop. Open your palms out to the sides. Fingers to the sides and mat with apart. Thumbs are rotated to the front. Shoulders in between the wrists. And slowly start sinking the sternum down and now push the flow away from protract. In and protract. Feel a nice squeeze and then push away. Keep your neck long, shoulders away from your ears. And now up and now shift down and shift to the right. Up through the center, left, and then squeeze in between, right, up. Keep micro, micro bend in your elbows. And now reverse through the center to the left and then protract up. Find the space between the shoulder blades down. And slowly move the palms to the front of you and sink the chest down. Try to keep the hips over the knees, chest down to the block or the floor or maybe hover. Breathe. And if you stay in the active stretch, pull the mat apart with the arms. Observe how it feels in your armpits. Try the active stretch. Don't go all the way down if you can. And pull the mat apart and observe how, what it feels like on the outside of the armpits and the sides of the ribs maybe. Breathe. Keep your neck long, shoulders away from your ears. And then inhale, push the hips forward, extension through the front of the hips, stretch, soften through the elbows down to the floor, find yourself in sphinx, draw the elbows in, lift through the heart, draw your ears to your shoulders, side to side, circles. Mm. And now lower down to your belly, extend your fingers to the back of the room and lift your feet for your locust. You can do gentle pulses here. And now bend the knees, reach for the ankles, press the feet into the palms, lift the knees and reach the toes up, 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 extending your legs as much as you can and try to get to the pubic bone to stretch through the chest and hips. And if you move forward, try to stretch through the quads and then back through the chest. Keep your neck long. And exhale, lower the thighs down. Bring the palms to the floor, extend the legs. Now press the palms into the mat. Lift the hips, but keep the thighs and torso in one line, so half plank. Shift the hips back. Draw the pubic bone to the ribs. Make a wave-like motion to the front. And then extend back to the front and extend. Send the hips back, rise up and sip onto the right side. Lift the right arm up, lengthen, stretch, stretch, stretch. Spiral your armpit to the left. Feel your lower back stretching. Inhale up and open, down, up and open and switch to the opposite side. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, spiral, stretch to the lower back, side body, shoulder, up, rotate the chest up, and exhale, round, up, and exhale, down. Inhale, up, lift your knees, keep your feet together, hold onto the shin bones, lift through the heart. Now, press your right thigh in, and hug your right thigh in the back and then bring the palms on top of your left chin and extend the left leg as much as you can. Breathe. And slowly release and try the other side. The left arm is hugging the left leg, the left thigh in the back and both palms are hugging the top of your right chin. So you bring your legs into the chest. You can balance here, maybe extend halfway or extend all the way. Bre breathe here, lift through the heart. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. Hug both sides in. 
grab to the grab the big toes and maybe extend the legs out to the sides. Maybe you can play with bending and then extending as much as possible. Maybe you can lift the legs up and bring them together and then bend and slowly lower the feet down. Roll down one vertebra by vertebra at a time. And you can play with going into Halasana, inhale and exhale, seated forward fold. Inhale, rolling up, halasana, and down, seated forward fold, up, halasana, seated forward fold, and then slowly roll down, bring the palms under the hips, point the toes, press the heels into the mat, rise up to your forearms, reach the pubic bone forward and chest up. Stretch through the shoulders and maybe you can drop the head between the shoulders. And with your elbows, pull them at the part into opposite sides. Observe how it feels on the shoulders. Inhale, lift the head back to neutral. Release the elbows. Draw the pubic bone to the ribs. Release the palms. You can bring the thighs in and gently rock from side to side. You can do gentle twists before your Shavasana. And slowly lower the feet down, extend the legs, palms facing up. Soften through the shoulders, gaze up to the ceiling. Soften through the shoulders, close your eyes gently, soften your eyelids, align the forehead with your chin, and surrender, melt into the mat, relaxing your toes, your ankles, your calves, your thighs, your hips. Your low back your rib cage, shoulder blades, shoulders, arms, wrists, fingers, your forehead, eyelids, cheeks, lips, tongue. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you wish. If you're ready to finish the practice with me, pick up your toes, your fingers, 
bring your knees in and you can stretch your arms overhead. Mm. Hug your knees and slowly roll to the right side for your fetal position. And rise up to seated, keeping your eyes closed, staying connected to your practice. Soften through the shoulders, lengthen through the crown. Take a moment to reflect how you feel after this class. If there are any changes in the way you feel, take a moment to be grateful for this opportunity to practice the time that you were able to dedicate to your wellness, to your health. That you were able to find this fun class. Thank you guys for joining me for this fun yoga workout. I hope you enjoyed the sequence. It was pretty challenging. So uh, if you need to modify, if you don't know how to modify certain things, you can ask me in the comments below down the video. Please give some love to this video. Press the like button, share with your friends. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. If you love this floor and you want to try more classes similar to this, make sure to join me at Gayatri.yoga. There are many full length classes, programs that that uh, are intermediate, advanced, that prepare you uh, for more advanced poses, help you to build strength, um, tone your body, improve your flexibility, mobility, endurance. There's lots of fun sequences. So make sure to go and sign up now for the free trial. It's seven days free. Until we meet again, namaste.